This is an unboxing, some information, and a walkthrough of the Organi Cup Menstrual Cup. This cup has been on the market for a little while now, but I finally added it to my collection. If you are interested in information about the Organi Cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Fred Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like my shirt and you want more information about it, you can find that and a link in the description below. A portion of all of their sales go to menstrual product donations. First of all, if you had contacted me to do a comparison in the past of the Organi Cup and another cup, I'm sorry that I had to turn you away. Uh, I will no longer have to turn anybody away to do a comparison of that. Unless, of course, I don't have the other cup that you're looking for. This cup is from Denmark. They do have worldwide shipping and uh, the packaging on this is so awesome. They went for very minimal packaging. You get the box, a pouch, and the cup. There's no extra pieces of paper or plastic, and all the information that's included is actually printed right on the box. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, uh, open the box, show you what you get, and then I'll do a walkthrough of the actual cup. Let's go down to the table. The Organic Cup comes in two different sizes, a size A and a size B, A being the smaller of the two and B being the larger. I'm going to do a quick turnaround of the box and you can pause it if you need to. As you can see here, they printed everything on the inside of the box, so you don't want to rip it open. You'll want to cut the sticker and then unfold it carefully. So your organic cup does come in a pouch. I noticed that this one has a little tag on it and this one doesn't. I don't know if it's specific to the smaller size doesn't have their tag, but the larger size does. And here are the two organic cups. I'm going to go ahead and put a black uh, piece of paper down so that you can see them a little bit better. Here are the two sizes of the organic cup, the smaller size and the larger size A and B. I have added both of the organic cup sizes to my comparison tool and you can find that link in the description box. The total length of the small organic cup measures 65 millimeters and that is with the stem. Without the stem it measures 49 millimeters. The diameter of this small is 40 millimeters and this cup holds 25 milliliters to the top of the rim. The large organic cup total length measures 70 millimeters. Without the stem it measures 53. The diameter is 45, and again, filling it all the way to the top of the rim, it holds 30 milliliters. Starting with the stem, it is a stick style stem, or an antenna style stem as I like to call it. Uh, it is soft enough to pinch between my fingertips, and that allows it to move in all directions really comfortably. It does have a good stretch to it. It stops right about there. And again, this is a solid piece of silicone, so it does feel pretty sturdy. There are three grip rings on here and they are raised quite high off of the stem, but again, those are soft, so uh, they will move and shift with your body. There are two grip rings on the base of this cup. This first one is a little bit um, on the stem or is attached to the stem and then there's one around the base of the body. And these aren't raised as much as the uh, grip rings on the stem, but they are rounded. Inserting my finger into the cup, you can see that there really isn't an extra seal in there. So if you do need to cut or trim your stem off, I would 
Make sure to leave some of the stem still intact so you don't cut directly into the cup. The uh, stem and the cup meet right at that uh, grip ring that meets the stem and the base of the cup. The silicone finish on this cup is that peach skin kind of velvety feel to it uh, and it kind of gives a little bit more grip um, and so when I press my fingers against the cup and pull my fingers don't slide really fast over the silicone but this is when the cup is dry it might act differently when it's wet. The organic cup has a secondary rim and it starts right here. Uh, it has a very nice transition. There's no hard edges or squared off areas. That's going to create a speed bump when you're inserting or removing this cup. The secondary rim of this cup is quite a bit more firm than the body of this cup and that will help this cup to open up a little bit easier. This cup has four air holes. There's two here and two here. They aren't equal distant around the rim, so if I pinch the rim together, they do meet up. These holes are quite large, and I could easily push a pencil tip right through them. There are two seams to mention. There's one that goes uh, down the body, up and around the stem, and back down the other side. And I can feel those with my fingertips, so if you're sensitive to those, know that that's there. There's also one more seam at the very top of the rim, and um, I can see this one and feel it with my fingertips kind of shifting back and forth. There's a little uh, lip on those. There are no markings on the inside of this cup. All of their markings are on the outside and it's only on one side of the cup. So here you can see that it's branded with their name, Organi Cup. And then there's two measuring lines here, but no measuring numbers. This cup doesn't have a huge capacity, but it'll still work fine for a heavy bleeder. Uh, you will just have to uh, empty your cup out a little bit more often. And although they're about the standard sizes for a small and a large cup, they would probably be more comfortable for someone with a medium to a high cervix. When I first heard about the cup, I thought it was going to be very, very soft, and I was surprised when I actually received it and felt it in my own hands. The rim of the Organic Cup is slightly softer than the rim on the Lunette Cup. And the body of the Organi Cup is more close in firmness to the small or medium Maluna Classics. Well, that's all I have about the Organi Cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. You can also contact them for yourselves at www.organicup.com. Also, leave me a comment down below if you purchased the Organi Cup and how it's working out for you so far. Until I see you next time, take care.